Good morning, everyone. Y'all can do better than that. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right. So I would like to welcome all of the parents, as well as some of my coworkers, which I'll be introducing here shortly, to Bradley Academy's Dairy Graduation. So let me introduce a couple of my coworkers real quick. I'll start with my major, Major Atkinson, right here on the end. Give it up for him, y'all. Just, just working our way down the chain. Next is my lieutenant, Lieutenant Carter. My co-worker, Officer Radley. Another co-worker, Officer Harris. Another co-worker, Officer Dry. Another co-worker, Officer Meeks. And to my left, Officer Renziski. And my direct supervisor, Sergeant Walker, is away at a training and he was unable to be here today. Um, if we would, let's have the Pledge of Allegiance. So if I call your name, please come down to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Jace Anderson, Seth Harrell, Ruth, Ruth Martinez, Fatima Burnell, Angelica Craig, Sine Frazier, Jalen Morgan, Rishi Mattel, Emily Vasquez, and Ashton McCoy. If everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Y'all ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank y'all. Clap it up for them, y'all. They did a wonderful job with them. DARE. DARE is Drug Abuse Resistance Education. DARE started back in 1983 in Los Angeles by the Los Angeles Police Department. Murfreesboro Police Department started teaching DARE in 1992. We currently teach DARE in all of the city schools as well as two private schools. DARE is currently taught in approximately 80% of the United States School District. The D.A.R.E. course is a 10-week course in which an officer comes within the school and talks to the children, and we speak to the children about risk and consequences, dealing with stress, bullying, responding to peer pressure, communication skills, and being a part of our community. It's really a life class what D.A.R.E. has transitioned to. With our graduates today, for you students, you will be joining over 37 million others who have graduated from there. Now, enough with me talking. Let's have Ms. Ortiz come up and talk to you all so we can get the graduation on. Let's give it up for Ms. Ortiz, the principal of Bradley Academy. Thank you, Officer Williams. Um, Welcome everybody to our D.A.R.E. graduation and thank you parents and faculty and students for being here. This is a very important day for you. We appreciate the work that you've done this semester. I know that it's been hard work this semester. You've put in the time, you've put in the work and we appreciate that. Parents, we appreciate your support. We know that you've had some conversations with your students. They've come home asking questions and we appreciate the time that you've put in answering those questions and working through those skills with your students. Um, students, I appreciate the positive work that you've done, the leadership roles that you have taken, um, the good decision-making skills that I've seen from you, and the positive impact that you have made in our building. You are leaders within our building, so I appreciate you. And finally, I want to thank Officer Williams. You have been an asset, a role model, and a tremendous mentor for our students, for our teachers, and for our school, so thank you. And without any further ado, I want to turn it over to Ms. LaShan Dixon, who will be speaking to you today um, and get on with our graduation. Thank you.
Good morning. I know you all can be louder than that. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome. Well, good morning, family, friends, faculty, staff, and the 2017 DARE class of Bradley Academy. First, I would like to thank Officer Chris Williams for inviting me to this amazing event. I'm truly honored and blessed to stand here before you this morning. Family, friends, faculty, and staff, Thank you for your interest in making a positive difference in the lives of children. As a participant in the D.A.R.E. program a long time ago, I can fully understand that this program teaches students good decision-making skills to help them lead safe and responsible lives. As a native of Nashville, Tennessee, I'm a proud graduate of Nashville School of the Arts and Middle Tennessee State University. From a very young age, I've always had a passion to serve and to help others excel while making a mark in the lives of others that couldn't be erased. As the founder of Savoir Fair and Fierce Walking Classes, I love coordinating fashion shows and exclusive events. During the workshops, I teach individuals how to walk with a purpose and in your purpose, and this is what D.A.R.E. teaches. I'm very passionate about my platform, which is Beauty Behind Bars. It's an overall self-esteem program created to help young women and individuals break away from mental incarceration of self-imprisonment, of low self-esteem, doubt, depression, suicide, and dream killing. I'm very blessed to work in a career where I can impact the lives of so many others, working for the Tennessee Department of Health to promote, protect, and improve the health and prosperity of people in this great state of Tennessee. I also work as an adjunct professor at Middle Tennessee State University, where I teach health and wellness to incoming freshmen. Three years ago, I married the man beyond my dreams, and we currently reside here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, with our phenomenal two-year-old little girl. We both have a passion to serve, and so we both are a part of international Greek letter organizations where we actively participate in service projects to help foster our communities. I absolutely love shoe shopping. How many of you all love shoe shopping? How many of you all love shopping? Yes, Christmas time is coming around. But most importantly, I love spending time with my family and friends but I also love to dance. I've been dancing ever since I can remember. Dance for me has been the outlet for me to express my feelings, especially during the sudden loss of one of my youngest brothers. I now enjoy teaching dance at church and to inner city youth. So today I stand before you to tell you that dreams really do come true, if you dare to dream. My pageant journey started at Middle Tennessee State University competing for the title of Miss Black and Gold for the Kappa Xi chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Never would I have imagined that 12 years later, I would still be a so-called pageant girl. Deciding to compete in pageants has honestly been one of the best decisions I've ever made. The skills that I've gained and the opportunity to network and gain life lifelong friendships have made a huge impact on my life. Competing in pageants has been more than just a beauty contest. For me, there has been much preparation and hard work. From the countless hours of walking practice to being asked interview after interview question about any and everything, to having learned the true value of determination and hard work. I've learned that you can do whatever you set your mind to. To me, those nights when my efforts are truly rewarded my true victory is so much more that can sit atop top of my head. What I truly walk away with is so grand that it can only be held in my heart. Encouragement, inspiration, sisterhood, and dedication. As many contestants can contest to, pageants encourage you to be confident and to help you overcome little fears such as public speaking and performing on front of a stage in front of thousands of individuals. Before I started competing in pageants, I would have never been able to stand here and speak in front of you. Now it all comes a little bit more naturally, even though I still get nervous. In my day-to-day -day work as the Assistant County Director for the Rutherford County Health Department, I love to give back. I love what I do, and I do what I love. Pageants have also inspired me and inspired generations to celebrate both intelligence and beauty. As a little girl, I can remember watching Mrs. America on television and thinking, wow, they have it all, beauty and brains. I can be all that and more. 
Finally, for me, pageants have allowed me to be a part of a larger family of beautiful, educated, talented, and platform-driven women, just as I'm sure the DARE program has been to you. I now have the opportunity to build sisterhoods when coordinating pageants and walking classes throughout the state. So for me, participating in programs such as the DARE program and pageants have taught me to never give up. For me, winning my very first pageant that I competed in was the best feeling in the world. However, those feelings slowly faded as I continued competing but didn't win. However, I have plenty of experience, of course, with not winning every pageant I competed in, but I also hold a lot of success competing in pageants and gaining lifelong friendships. Yes, it's very hard to see yourself fail after you have prepared several months for something. However, I have to remember there is no such thing as failure, only delayed success. Every pageant that I've competed in, every program that I've been a part of, I have learned something new. I just realized that life and pageants should not make you feel like a loser. It should not make you feel less determined. It should not make you feel like it's the end of the world. It should make you feel confident, knowing that you have a voice for the future. I truly believe that pageants and programs such as the D.A.R.E. program has helped me find this purpose in life. It has made me realize that my journey is one, not in one a pursuit of the crown or the sashes or the sparkly things in life, but in pursuit of service. My crown simply provides a platform for me to be a champion to others as the same way that others have been a champion for me. They have taught me great skills, learned from phenomenal coaches and friends to life, last a lifetime. Memories and skills that I've learned from pageants are ones that will last a lifetime. And I challenge each and every one of you all to find something that in life that you love doing for the rest of your life. Once again, I challenge you all to find something in life that you love doing and do it for the rest of your life. Dare to dream, to be a hope giver, helping other people excel, because it would truly be a life-changing experience that you will never forget. Congratulations, 2017 Dare Class of Bradley Academy. Now, with no, other, no further ado, we'll have up Ms. Evans' class. Alondra Calixto. Hmm? Hold all applause till the end. Antonella Machado. Ashton McCoy. Demarcus Hill. Daniel Avalos. Daniel Mesa, Estrella Moraz, Janaya Nelson, Kanaya King, Kayla Ramsey, Lena Galindo, Marisol Ramiro. Mateo Hall, Myra Ortiz, Nathan Cranmore, Soraya Swader, and Wainicia Brown.
Thank you, Ms. Evans, for allowing me to come to your classroom. It's been a pleasure working with you. Now, for the awards for Ms. Evans' class, parents, as well as our visitors, we'll have a few awards that we'll be giving out each individual class. First one being Dear Boy and Dear Girl. It isn't a popularity contest. It's voted on amongst their peers in their classroom. Gives them the opportunity to see or to vote for the person in their classroom that they feel will be drug and alcohol free and or as they like to put it, it won't end up on the app. So we appreciate them taking the time to vote and appreciate their fellow peers. So ladies first, their girl in Ms. Evans class, Estrella Garcia. Their boy, Daniel M. Now these next three awards are for the essay. In order for the students to graduate from there, they had to write an essay. Unfortunately for me, I had to read each and every one of those essays. And it was very hard for me to distinguish number one to the very last, but it was something I had to do. And I appreciate each and every one of them putting forth the time and the effort to actually write the essay. So, third place essay in Ms. Evans' class, Monteo Hall. Second place, Nathan Cranmore. Now here's the prize that really, I guess you can, you can say some of them don't want to win because first place has to come up and read their essay. Now for you parents, I'm pretty sure if I were to call your name right now, you would feel nervous. So I ask that you would give these young people a little bit of grace if they feel nervous. Because Sarai Swader, come on up to read your essay. Everybody, I'm Soraya, and I'm going to talk about D.A.R.E. and why you should be in it too. It was a perfect experience, had fun activities, so I'm going to specifically talk about what I learned, who I learned it from, and how I learned in D.A.R.E. I learned that you shouldn't smoke. I also learned not to yell or have much anger with yourself. Moreover, you shouldn't force yourself to do something bad to be cool. I learned that you should never be bad if you've known how it felt. I know, I now want to talk about why I learned all of these things. It's so important. I learned these things to help me when I'm older, mostly not to let me do something I'll regret. Consequently, if I do something that I regret, then I might not have a great future. Above all, I'm talking about how I learned it. I got to have this advice because pol uh, policers taught me. In particular, Officer Williams. He was able to come to our school and teach us these things. I've had two police officers help me. One was Officer Williams and the other was Officer Nicholas. I received these I received this advice because they want to help us not do things we'll regret. Well, that's the end. I hoped you like it. Liked it. Maybe now you can take this advice. Thank you for helping us learn. Now we'll have Ms. Gallimore's class. Good morning, Jacob Davis, Madison Dunstan, Edwin Fuentes Ruiz, 
Sandra Garcia, Kevin Garcia Say, Kennedy Henry, Karma Hobson, Kaylin Lopez, Jada Martin, Serenity Mathis, Cordarion Odom, Rishi Patel, Chris Richardson, and Emily Serafin Vasquez. Dear girl, Ms. Gallimore's class, Sandra Garcia. <laughs> Dear boy, Santos Say, <laughs> or Kevin. Third place essay winner, Karma Hobson. Second place, Kevante Porter. Kevante isn't here, so Ms. Gallimore will be accepting it on his behalf. And first place, Maya Hall. <laughs> Maya isn't here, so I'll read her essay for her. It's been a quick few weeks, but I've learned a lot. I love Derek, can't believe it's coming to an end. I will be talking about how DARE has helped me in different situations, what I've learned in DARE, and how there has been times where I'm like, stop. What did we learn in DARE? First, I want to say thank you to my DARE officer, Officer Williams. He has always been there if I need help or if I need to talk to someone. To begin, let's talk about how DARE has helped me in situations. DARE has helped me a few times. There was this one time when me and my friends were in an argument. I was like, not going to flip out. I think there was some miscommunication. So me and my friends ended up talking and working everything out, and now we are best friends. Furthermore, let's talk about what I've learned in DER. I've learned a lot in DER, but I will talk about the two main ones. They are bullying and communication. The technical meaning of bullying is when someone repeatedly aggravates you and when you ask them to stop, they don't. Most of the time, people get bullied on how they look or what they wear. Communication is how you talk or translate information from one person to another. A lot of times, this is how drama starts. Miscommunication is when people mishear things or start rumors. Last but not least, let's talk about how sometimes I had to stop and think, should I do this? This has happened to me once. I was going to tell somebody a secret that somebody told me. So I asked myself, should I do this? And I was like, no, don't do that. So there has definitely helped me in situations. That's all I have for y'all today. I hope I had helped someone. Maybe next time you're in one of these situations, you will make the right choice. Sincerely, Maya. <laughs> Next, we'll have Ms. Turner's class.
Fertima Banal. Uwodi He Bird. Kevin Carapia. Jerome Cheers. Angel Craig. Senea Frazier. Jada Gatewood. Caleb Gentry. Ilana Gunther. Jalen Morgan. Brandon Pendergrast. Kiera Ramos. Kadariana Ramsey. And Alana Thomas. Dear girl, in Miss Turner's class, it's an inside joke, but whoa, 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 dee. <laughs> Their boy, Jalen Morgan. All right, third place essay winner. I'm gonna try my best to get this right. You woe the he. Did I get it right? Hold on, say it again. Ooh, woe the he. There we go. Which is why I call it woe, 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 woe the. Second place. Venetia Thomas. In first place, Jada Gatewood. what DARE stands for, Drug Abuse Resistance Education. My name is Jada Gatewood, and I'm going to tell you how DARE changed my life. I have learned many things in DARE, but these to me are the things most important. First, the HELP Network. The HELP Network is a group of people who help you. There's somebody who, can look, who you can look up to in a time of help. Also, resistance strategies are helpful. Resistance can help us in, for the near future. Saying a simple no could affect our life. This helps us make good decisions that make our life sure that our future is not at risk. So those are some things that are important to me. The DARE decision-making model is to find, assess, respond, and evaluate. I have used the DARE decision-making model for many situations. Here's one for example. When my friends ask me if I want to go over, the, over to the park with them, unsupervised, my choices are not to go or to go. So I choose not to go. There will not be an adult and with us and it wouldn't be safe. I think I made a good decision. That was an example of the DARE decision making model. So I hope we'll try it sometime. DARE has helped me so much and here's how I plan to, to make good decisions with it. I can use DARE to help others in, in the world. Also, I can use it to make good decisions for my future. So. That is how I plan to use DARE for good things. In conclusion, DARE is what I think defines us as a good citizen. To take a moment to thank your officer because I know that I will. So, I dare you to use four DARE words in everyday life. Next we'll have Ms. Wisman's class. Jace Anderson, Felipe Balderas, 
Alexandra Barajas. Manny Creek. Esmeralda Garcia. Seth Harrell. Naveen Maxwell. Jory Miller. Abby Portillo. Shania Rutledge. Hari Scott. And Daxton Wilson. Their girl in Miss Wisman's class, Esmeralda Garcia. Their boy, Jace Anderson. Third place essay winner, Joy Miller. Second place, Shania Rutledge. <laughs> In first place, Manny Creek. Do you want to make better choices in life? I'm going to tell you my experience in D.A.R.E. and how I have made better choices. I have learned a lot during D.A.R.E., such as how to make better choices and new forms of communication. I have also learned nicotine is an addictive drug in cigarettes. A type of communication are unsure and confident communication. I have used the D.A.R.E. decision-making model when, the, when there was a problem. The problem I had was when me and my sister fought. My choice was to stay or forgive her. I forgave her. I made a good choice because I wouldn't have to talk to, I wouldn't have anyone to talk to at home. I plan to use what I have learned to inform people about what dangers are in drugs and in cigarettes. I also plan to use it by making better decisions. I will use these plans because I know it is the right choice. Those are ways I have made better choices have you made better choices? Will you make better choices? Dare offer some ways you can make better choices. If you would, let's take a moment to give a round of applause to all of our Dare graduates. Ms. Ortiz, if you would come up. I'd like to thank Ms. Ortiz for allowing me the opportunity to come into Bradley, as well as accepting me. This is my first year uh, teaching at Bradley and being at Bradley, and they welcomed me with open arms, and I greatly appreciate it. I feel like home from day one, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And last, uh, let's give up another round of applause for Ms. Lashay Dixon as she comes. <laughs> Lashay, I'd like to thank you for coming and speaking and inspiring our young people to dreams and letting them know that dreams do come true. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, if you will, turn to the back of your program. If you turn to the back of your programs, you will see those sponsors that help make DARE, the DARE program even possible. I would like to place an emphasis on two of them. One being City TV. If you all look back, yeah, y'all can see them. Hey, City TV. City TV, they will be airing this on the uh, City TV channel. 
So parents, for those of you who are unable to make it, you can catch it on TV. I'll send the flyer home with the students to let you all know when it will re-air. For those of you who had your back, whenever you took your certificate, your parents will see that and they'll be able to say something to you. So, yeah. And the second one will be the skate night. Skate night will take place December the 18th from 5 to 7.30. For parents, it's going to be from 5 to 7.15 because we need y'all there to ensure that y'all pick y'all kids up, okay? Y'all come hang out with us for 15 minutes. But that will take place on Monday, December the 18th from 5 to 7.30. Now, young people, you uh, wear your D.A.R.E. t-shirts. You will be able to come in for free as well as have yourself a pizza or either a candy bar and a drink. And maybe one of you all can teach me how to skate because I don't know how to skate. Parents, you're more than welcome to come and hang out. Or if you want to skate for a few dollars, you can skate with them also. But it's free just to come in, fellowship, and hang out with us.